What's up, Tutin? Tutin to the internet. My name's Seth, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Xeno Raid. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. Before we get started, we'd very much appreciate if you would hit that like button for me. It helps me out more than you could ever know. Now, without further ado, this game, I mean, what do I say about it? It's a top-down shooter, kind of similar to Asteroid, R-Type, or any of those old games from the 80s or 90s or whatever. I mean, there's tons of games that are like this today, but most of them usually are just kind of like those insane, like, bullet-dodging mayhem, you know, where you're trying to dodge, like, five zillion enemies and while that may end up happening in the late game for this one yeah for right now we're just gonna stick to the first starting level so of course there's solo and multiplayer uh and then of course there's other different aspects of the game kind of behind the scenes that we will talk about in a little bit but that first screen that you kind of saw right there was uh choosing i guess like the mission itself or the level itself or the planet or whatever right and then each of those is going to have a set amount of levels that we're going to have to deal with and each of the levels are going to end up posing a little bit of a different challenge so of course you see the boss is right at the end we're just gonna jump right into it and we'll talk about the fighter bay and the tech lab in a moment because first i just wanted to show you the game itself which hopefully i'm gonna be able to find a nice balance between uh the volume and stuff like that and what i'm actually saying but i mean let me just say this game actually has an insane like great sounds you know like the guns feel very powerful uh you know and it feels like the explosions on the enemies are just absolutely like it, it's great you know they've got insane production and not to mention the backgrounds and everything are all crisp and hd and beautiful and stuff like that you got characters talking to us in the bottom left uh showing the amount of enemies that we have to deal with in total including a couple of the special fighters and the other aspect of the game that's pretty cool is the fact that say we got like a bullet coming at us let me see if I can do this right here whoops we swapped over to a different ship that's what all those ships are in the bottom right so we've got two that are the exact same end up having missiles and a machine gun the machine gun can't overheat and then we've got two other ships that, that are the exact same but these ones actually deal with uh shotguns and special like explosive shells and everything like that right as opposed to these main guys which has the machine gun and i love the fact that you can actually aim sideways you know while you're kind of strafing to the left and right adds a little bit of uh, complexity to an otherwise very simplistic type of game uh, and then, of course, we have just missiles with these guys, but I, I wouldn't really recommend using on these tiny little enemies that just go real quickly, like get destroyed, right? Because um, most of all is for like the more powerful enemies, which we may not end up having time for today, folks. Sorry to say, because I'm just trying to show you the game itself uh, rather than show you what the game eventually ends up turning into. I haven't gotten that far myself, uh, but the boss fights are pretty insane. I will say that a lot of fun, seriously. Uh, so see right there, we ended up gain our gun to overheat so we could end up just swapping over to the next guy and then not worrying about it now uh, there's different aspects and light changes to the weapons themselves a little bit of I guess I'll say there's a little bit more depth than you would think to the weapons but that will kind of be explained when we end up going into the tech lab uh, and it keeps on trying to tell us that we're overheating and all that junk, which that's okay. We don't really need to worry about it. And there's just something about this game, you know? I just find it really, really fun. It's really addictive, really cool, very quick and easy. And also nice touches where if you hover, uh, fly over to where the HUD is, it ends up going transparent. So asteroids with blue streaks, drop collectible credits because there's asteroids, there's ships. And later, of course, you're dodging like so many different things at the later end of the game. It's just absolutely insane. But besides these guys talking, they're talking talking about like earth and invaders and blah 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 uh we're gonna go to the tech lab right now so i just wanted to show you this as we're completing missions we're getting credits and we get more credits i think based on more like uh enemies destroyed i'm not exactly sure but also your ships are leveling up because you can see right here with the escape pods equips fighters with escape pods if a fighter is lost some of the fighters price is reimbursed according to the pilot's rank 60 percent for uh ensign and, and signs and all the way up to 90% for majors. So if you end up getting a ship that's like really, really powerful and tanky or something like that and ends up getting destroyed, you'll end up getting a bunch of your money back so that you can end up like, I don't know if you fix it or if you start from square one, but 
Most of these are pretty cool, and most of these are just passive abilities, like we've got this one where uh, it's detonated if a fighter is destroyed, destroy kills almost every enemy on the screen, additional armor, uh, Hail Mary device, which is uh, just a random disruptor that's going to end up triggering when we end up taking, uh, getting down to 30% more damage. We'll just grab this one just so I can show you, because now we've actually got additional armor on all of our ships as near as I can tell and then here's where the things get very very deep because uh, each of the ships are actually considered different characters right so I think, I haven't gotten to this point, but I'm just under the impression that later on you'll be able to customize your ships a little bit more. Uh, but of course, at the beginning of the game right now, like there's not really that much to it, which I guess technically you still could anyway. Like we might want to get this guy, the internal gun mount uh, completely maxed out. And then we might want to get this guy fragmented missiles, you know? because some of these abilities have a little bit of a counterpoint so a chain gun motor controlled uh, a controller modification boosts the rate of fire considerably however the overdrive can only be sustained briefly when the weapon is completely cooled meaning that uh, it's just gonna last for only a little bit before it ends up going away right and then there's uh, different passive abilities we could get with all of these ships over here and we could also end up selling them as well and then you can kind of just change the position of them for when we're actually in the mission so that we would end up pressing different buttons uh, to actually swap the characters and stuff like that, right? And then, of course, there's just starting the mission and you can see easy difficulty, get our rewards. We have to fight 20 of the bigger ships, 45 of the littler guys, asteroid prevalence, no asteroids around. So we'll finish today's video just with a little bit more space combat here, folks, just because uh, there's just something about it. It's just very, very appealing. And even the fact that like every time you move your ship and everything like that, it's actually got like the realistic like uh, jet stream, you know, or whatever that would be called. <laughs> like when you're in outer space, you know, and you got to use like the air jets and stuff like that to navigate around and everything like that. Now, again, if you're trying to do this, like just with one ship, you're going to have a very tough time doing that. So you can swap out your ship on the fly. Another thing too, that's very nice is as you kind of saw right there, as we're swapping out our ship, you can see where the next pilot is going to end up arriving. So you can, uh, you know, kind of use that as a way to gauge like where we're going to end up going. And you can also, let me try and see if I can do this. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, but as we end up having an enemy ship coming in, because it doesn't only work with projectiles. Oh boy, here's the different guys. Uh, but it'll also work with, well, maybe I won't be able to get it done, but... Uh, you can end up using that to dodge the ships themselves. So we could end up doing this and, you know, as you see right there, like just dodging all of it, right? Um, I need to get out of here soon. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Maybe I ended up pressing the wrong button and pressing it twice or something. But either way, they just keep introducing new enemy types. Of course, the game gets even more insane uh, later on because new enemy types all hitting you all at once. I mean, you can see the potential, right? So links will be in the description for everything, folks. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Sign away and stay epic.